So um, today we're going to be talking about saving time. Uh, like I said, that has been our theme this month. Uh, and let me just get my slides going here. Um, but we've been talking a lot about time saving this month. If you missed it last week, Craig and I went over and talked about um, basically our top two time saving apps, the apps that we use all of the time to make sure that, you know, we're saving time on our devices while we're out in the road, uh, while we're doing all that sort of stuff. So if you haven't seen that one, definitely check that one out. Um, I can actually drop that link in chat here. Uh, that was the one from last week. Um, so definitely check that out. This week, though, we are talking about browser extensions. And those are the basic extensions, the add-ons that you can uh, add to your browsers. Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, uh, Safari, things like that, to improve the browser itself and make your life a little bit easier um, with some quick access tools. So we're going to be talking about that today. Before I get into that, though, I do want to uh, remind everybody this is brought to you by two different organizations. First, uh, I, well, I'm involved in both technically, but Craig is the founder over at the Real Estate Technology Institute. Um, if you are at all interested um, in, take you over here. Um, if you are at all interested in learning about technology or marketing in your business, definitely check out reti.us. I'm going to throw that link in chat as well. That is reti.us. Now, that I said is Craig's site. If you're interested in learning about technology or marketing, definitely, definitely check that out. The other thing to keep in mind is that um, a lot of uh, associations have brought this on as partnerships mm -hmm. and include member uh, membership as a member benefit. So definitely check out with your association if you have a member benefit. Uh, I think Craig said earlier today, we're up to like 44,000 members um, that have that's, accounts that's over there. That's, what? that's what we did this year. That's yeah, we're we're getting pretty big over here. Right it's now, pretty so. big over there. So um, if you haven't <laughs> checked it out, definitely check it out. Uh, if you're not a member, if your association doesn't have that member benefit, never hurts to ask them if they've checked it out as well. There are people and their associations joining all the time. So check that out. Uh, it is a great, great resource over there. Uh, I'm involved as well as four other instructors as well. Mm -hmm. um, Pat will know uh, Warren. Pat Palumbo will know Warren Dow, who's involved over there. Uh, we've got mm -hmm. Amy Smith Harris. We've got uh, Brandon Doyle. We've got uh, Juanita McDowell's videos are over there. We've got all sorts of incredible instructors that you probably know from the industry over there. So, te so check that one out. The next one is my organization that is Service for Life. Uh, if you are interested in building a 100% referral business where you are getting repeats and referrals consistently, you're not, you're not feeling like you have to chase deals, uh, check out serviceforlife.com. And I'm going to put that um, link in chat as well. All right. So let's dive on in today. Craig, are you ready to uh, to talk time saving for a little bit and uh, show show people how we save time? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the bottom line is yeah, every little thing you can do that helps you save time. I mean, if you can just save a minute or two on a single action, those things add up over time. You know what I mean? Like if you do that same minute or two save every day of the week, now you're saving yourself, what, 15 minutes a week. You do that times 50 over the over the year. I mean, you can save yourself a serious amount of time and get more time back in your life with some of our little, you know, time and cost saving tips. Because we're all about, you know, we can do something in one step versus four steps. Why not do it? Right. Absolutely. So that's that's what it's all about. Absolutely. Well, and I want to I want to kind of um, talk for just a second about what time saving really means and why you want to save 10 minutes. And for the folks that joined us last week, um, I know we're going over this again, but this is, I think, really important. Anytime we talk about saving time in the way that Craig and I save time, um, we want to make sure that we understand what that really means and what that can add up to throughout our life. So why save 10 minutes? I always kind of ask that question. So let's say you save yourself 10 minutes every single morning as part of your daily routine. What does that mean for your career? Now, I'm going to say 10 minutes by 250 days. Now, let's be honest, realtors, we work more than five days a week. But let's say you only use this five <laughs> days a week. 
right? At a base bare minimum, five days a week, that's 2,500 minutes. That is 41 hours a year. That's a regular person's work week, right? That's a nine to fivers work week that you can add back to your year by saving 10 minutes a day. I mean, it's amazing when you start playing this out over time, you add that 41 hours, you say, let's do it over 10 years. Right, let's talk not even over your whole 20, 30, 40 year career, just 10 years of your career. That is 17 days worth of time that you've saved over a 10 year period. That's an extra two week vacation that you've saved. It is. It's an extra two weeks. That's vacation, a great way of looking at it. It really is. Right. That you've saved yeah. over a 10 year period. That's an extra two weeks to travel. That's an extra two weeks with your family. That's a whole bunch of things that you can do in that amount of time. So the reason I bring this up and the reason we mention this is we're, if we're talking about saving a few minutes here, a few minutes there, 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, I know it might seem small, but all of those bits of time add up to an incredible amount of savings in your life. And it's so, so important to what we like to call micro automy, where you're automating small, little, minute tasks, you're doing all sorts of things like that um, where it's not about getting rid of it, a whole job out of your career. It's about saving yourselves 10 minutes a day. So is everybody ready? Is everybody ready to save about 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes a day in what we're talking about? Adding that two weeks back to your career. Let me know down in comments if you are ready for that um, because I certainly am. So Craig, what about you? Oh, of course. You ready? All right, well, yep. drum roll, drum roll, please. Right, we're going to take uh, Craig over and we're going to talk about two of Craig's favorite time-saving browser extensions. So the first one is Grammarly and the second one oh, yeah. is Screencastify. Um, so we're going to be covering those in a little bit more depth. And then I'm going to bring mm -hmm. out my two favorite extensions. And then we might have one bonus one at the end uh, <laughs> just to give you another idea. No so, way, we're doing bonus? Never. Never us giving away extra. Who would think of such a thing? Um, all right. So, Craig, let's uh, let's first talk about Grammarly. You're going to start there. Yeah. Grammarly is amazing. Cool. And by the way, if you don't know what a browser extension is, it's almost like a little app you install into your web browser. Uh, and once it's in your browser, you then can use it anywhere on the Internet. So, for example, let me go back to me, Sharon, please. I'm going to yep. pull up something a little bit more readable, like re reliable, which would be, we're going to kind of show an email. But by the way, I could be in the MLS typing up a property description. I could be over here in, let's say, Facebook typing up a post. That little green dot showing up inside the comment box is Grammarly. If I go back to Gmail, okay, as soon as I start typing, you're going to see that little green dot show up inside of here as well. So what Grammarly really is, it is like the best spelling and grammar check there is. It's amazing. So if I just start typing in something. As a side note, I give Craig a hard time about his grammar all the time. He does. Because it's when <laughs> I don't have Grammarly. <laughs> it's true. I can tell. When, I, when Grammarly is not kicking in, like Alex does pick on me, I stink at the your, your, and their, theirs. I admit it. I'm not, gram, grammar's not my best thing, but Grammarly does help me write a whole lot better. So it'll pick up on any kind of spelling error, any kind of grammar error. I'm the run on king. It helps me fix run on sentences and stuff like that. So anywhere you're typing on the internet, again, I could have gone right back to Facebook and typed up that. Uh, done that comment if I type something in wrong here. It's going to immediately notice that I spelled that wrong and help me fix it. Okay, so right away I got a one thing wrong here for there's no such word as the word kickle, right? Um, so that's the beauty of Grammarly. Anywhere you're on the internet typing, I could be on a website's contact form filling out their, you know, contact me form. I give you the MS typing up that property description. I could be out on social media typing up a post. It kicks in and helps you find any spelling, grammar errors, and punctuation errors as well. So to me, it's huge because if you're typing something wrong, you know, keep going back. It really does help fix things. 
Uh, and I personally even use Grammarly when I'm even using like Office document tools, because to me, it's even better than I'm using like the built in grammar check that's in Word or in Google Docs or any of these other programs. So again, anytime you're typing up anything, Grammarly will kick in and help you spelling, grammar and punctuation. So there is a, a paid and a free version, right, Craig? Yes. And I use the free version. Okay. The the paid version, as far as I know, the major differences is um, it'll also help you write better in the terms of stronger word recommendations. You might want to change this word to that word, stuff like that. Uh, but just for the spelling, grammar, and punctuation, that's all included in free. Love it. Mm -hmm. Any questions right. from uh, from anybody about Grammarly? Is there anything else you want to show folks on Grammarly, Craig? Um. Not that I could think of. I mean, it's 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 all about. I mean, just again, grammar, spelling, and, and punctuation. I don't think there's it's that complicated where we have to show more of it. But um, it's great. But the other one that I'll just throw in that's kind of ties into it, in my opinion, is Google Translate. Um, I also put that extension into the browser as well because you can also, if you're writing anything in in a different language or need a translation of something, you're gonna have that in the browser at the same time. And I could just kind of right click over a word and get a translation for it. That's my keyboard. Oh, that's why I'm a plug. Keyboard all of a sudden is not responding. There we go. So, so I could e just as easy right click and retranslate or get a spelling, whatever I need to do. Awesome. So Pat Palumbo says how to add to Safari. So I'm I can actually I got that up on my screen right here. Um, so if you go to the Grammarly support site and just search for extensions, you're going to get install the Grammarly browser extension as the main article, uh, underneath here, it's going to give you a couple options. You can pick the Safari option right there and then click on that link. Um, I'm going to put that into chat for you. So that is specifically the Safari version. Um, if you're looking for the Chrome or the Mozilla versions, it's the same sort of thing, except you're going to look for the uh, Grammarly Chrome extension. And with most of the Chrome extensions, you're going to get them right out of the Chrome Web Store. And you just say Add to Chrome. And I can put that in for Google Chrome as well. Perfect. We don't use all the same tools. Look at that. You don't have it installed. No, I don't. So in the re so it's funny. I have it installed on my private browser, but I don't have mm -hmm. it installed in my work account. And the reason I don't have it turned on is Yoast SEO in WordPress and Grammarly fight with each other. Ah. And it, it annoys me. And uh, so every now and again, <laughs> I'll turn Grammarly back on if I'm like very specifically. The other nice part, Craig, is I also have, you know, a like content team and professional writers who yeah, <laughs> degrees in it to like better, edit my you're stuff. You're much better than I am. I <laughs> so I, I speak and not write. Oh, not, I don't even mean <laughs> just me, Craig. I mean, I actually have yeah. a team of writers for our products. Um, so I, a lot of times I'm lucky enough that I'm able to put stuff right in front of professional editors. Um, but yep. that's why I don't have it in my, uh, in my work browser. I do have it in my personal browser though. I got you. Yeah. 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 All right. Ready for my second one? All right. I'm ready. You ready? Yep. Number right, two. So the second one we're going to show you. I don't know if you switched back to me yet. Yep. Uh, I did. Is, okay, cool. So it's called Screencastify. And what Screencastify allows you to do is, and by the way, in the top of my browser, it's the second icon in that kind of almost looks like a little arrow with a camera inside of that arrow. Um, if I click on that icon, what it's going to allow me to do is you'll see a little box is going to drop down. Okay. And now I can record the browser tab, like what's in my computer screen right now. I could record what's on my desktop. In other words, I can minimize the browser and even record what's on my computer, not just on the internet. Do I want to record just my webcam or do I want to do a combination of these things? So for example, right now we are clicked on desktop with my microphone and also let's throw in the webcam 
And now what it would do is it would record the screen, like using the recording the screen function with the desktop. It's going to put my picture and picture with my webcam in plus my microphone with the audio. So literally I can do a full kind of like narrated tour or review of anything by doing this. So let's get away from Facebook and I'll just kind of show you it. Let's pop over to maybe RETI and I'll do it here. So again, I'm going to record the desktop with my microphone and the webcam. And I'm going to click record. And what it's going to do is you're going to see the little box in the bottom right corner pop up with my webcam. There I am. Now let's make sure let's just grab the browser. So you can pick either the whole screen or just a window that you have open. We're just choosing the window with the browser. And now you're going to see a little countdown. Three seconds. Hey, everyone, how you doing? I just want to give you a quick little tour of the RATI site. As you can see, this is our site. We have over 2,500 instructional videos and product reviews and weekly webinars. We add new webinars all the time. You're always welcome to attend those. So all I'm doing very quickly, as you can see, is recording the screen with my picture in picture and audio at the same time. And now I'm going to click that stop sharing button. And what you're going to see is, that was interesting. Okay, that just closed my browser. That's never happened before. Um, but it typically opens it up into a new tab. And then you have full editing capabilities on that tab. Don't you love live demos, Craig? Are they just the best? I do. I've, that has never happened before. That's weird. <laughs> uh, uh, Joyce says, is this something like QuickTime Player? Well, QuickTime Player is just a video player. Now, you can do some, there is a way to record things, but this is built into the browser. So if you are paying for any program, now QuickTime Player comes free with Apple, but it does, it's not built in. It's a separate program. It's much harder to use. Right. This is just while you're in your browser, go record something very quickly and easily. Yeah, or even the minimize the browser and record your desktop. I was just going to say, the other thing to add there, Joyce, with QuickTime Player is QuickTime Player is a lot more set up to uh, do your entire desktop, whereby you might not want to have all of the apps, you know, all the software on the bottom tab that are running and all your tabs are open and all those sorts of things are going. Um, QuickTime will usually record all of that, whereby Screencastify will make it where you can just quickly grab the browser, grab that quick thing. Um, and send it out. That is if it works. So, you know. <laughs> That's yeah, cool. I don't, so, yeah, are you, Craig. you're not still sharing my screen, are you? Or are you? Do nope, I, I went back to the slides now. And I, we can move on um, on to the ones that I got. We can always come back to, to Screencastify if it's uh, not okay, working. Well, let me or just come through on one thing. The free version of Screencastify allows you to do those recordings for up to five minutes um, and very basic editing tools. If you get the pro version, like I do have the pro version of it, it's $50 a year. You can have unlimited length of videos and a full video editor built in. So I can always go back and crop it and add in other clips and music and all that and make much longer videos for the $50 a year. But again, the free version, five minute videos and basic editing tools. And one of the other things that I love about Screencastify is the second it's done recording, that video is already saved into my Google Drive accounts. And then one click extra, and I can also upload that video directly into my YouTube channel automatically. So it not only records the video, but immediately it's posting and saving it again into Google Drive. And then it also can one click put it up on YouTube. Love it. Sweet. Awesome. Thanks, Craig. Absolutely. Sweet. All right, well, we're going to get on to the two that I got. Um, and these are some fun ones. So the first one is Adblock. Now, for those folks that get frustrated with ads online um, and seeing ads all over the place, all over the Internet, I know that can definitely be frustrating. Um, there is a simple browser extension called Adblock that will allow you, it's totally free, that will just remove those from the page. So when you go to Facebook, you don't see the ads up at the top. Uh, when you browse the internet, a lot of sites out there will just be littered with ads. 
The two real benefits is one, the way they hide them makes the pages load a lot faster, and two, you're not distracted constantly by ads down the side of the page, at the top of the page, all that sort of stuff. So uh, it's a really great, great tool. Now I use this, and I'll show you just an example here. Um, it's this little item up at the top, that little hand icon, and you'll look there, and you can just quickly see um, that it blocked ads on this page and you can unblock if you want to. So if you want to see the ads or sometimes sites require that you pause your ad blocker to Not use the site. Um, unblock. Sorry about that. Um, that's okay. <laughs> yep. So uh, you can uh, pause on the, pause that if you need to, if you need to run it without that, um, either always or once throughout the site. But I'll just kind of give you a quick example here of how this works and what this does. You notice up here in the sponsored section, top right, there's nothing there. There's nothing under sponsored. That's because Adblock is running, right? It's, uh, well, refresh. So I'm going to pause Adblock. We're going to pause it on the site. Just pause it once for this refresh. And we notice up here at the top, these sponsored ads will appear. And then we're going to say, you know what? I'm going to unpause ad block. We're going to turn it back on. I'm going to refresh this again. And huh, Amy, we just gave Amy the shout out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you notice all of those sponsored ads have disappeared off of the side of the page. So it's a free extension that will just quickly get rid of the ads and uh, all those distracting videos and this and that all over the place um, and save you a little bit of time when you're trying to peruse different news sites and different all sorts of different stuff. So that's a, a great one. The other nice part is because the ads don't load, there's certain bits of tracking uh, that don't continue through because of the ads, um, which Adblock does a good job of shutting off as well. So definitely an extension I would recommend and something that I use consistently. So then we're going to get into uh, the next one. Blocks all pop-ups. I don't know if you mentioned that. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't even. I I didn't. Good, good point, yeah. Craig. No, it's um, big, no. No. The other big one is is there are a lot of ads out there that, like Craig said, are pop-ups. Um, that is so DuckDuckGo. By my understanding, is more of a browser. Isn't DuckDuckGo an entire browser from the ground up? It's a search engine, I thought. I thought they built a... I know it's the their big deal is that it does not track for privacy standpoint, but I believe it's just search. Right. Yeah, it's just a I think a they do search. an extension for search, but I think it is just search. I think it has to do with just the tracking piece um, and not just getting rid of the ads, not making them disappear off the page. Like Craig said, the other big one with Adblock is they get rid of pop-ups. So a lot of those ads that get frustrating that just pop up on your screen and block you from doing a lot of other stuff, those just don't happen. They just, the, the way it works is that it stops the code from working in the back end to ever have those appear on the page. So a lot of pop-ups uh, don't ever happen to begin with simply because you're uh, using Adblock. In fact, I've used Adblock for so long now, um, I kind of don't know what the internet is like without Adblock. <laughs> Um, every now and again, it like gets turned off or I use a different browser or whatever. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh my, this is what the internet is like without ad block. Um, because there's just, there's so many ads, there's so many pop-ups, there's so many things all over the internet. Uh, I use it and it's one of those tools where you kind of forget that it's even working for you in the background, uh, once you turn it on, but you definitely notice, um, once it gets turned off. So definitely check that one out. Um, all right, so the next one that I want to talk about is called Nimbus Capture or Nimbus Screenshots. And I'm going to share my screen here again. I uh, should do the clean version. So up here on the right, you'll see this little N with the teal sort of square box around it. If we click on that, you'll see that it pops up. Now I actually have to go, so let's say... Um, We'll go search our group, right? We'll search Service for Life. And let's say I want to grab a quick screenshot of this page uh, and, and annotate it. Let's say I want to point something out to somebody. I can go, all right, you know what? I want to capture either the visible part of the page or I can select a specific area. 
So let's select an area and let's say, I want to do that section. And I click and I edit. Now you notice you that that screenshot, screenshot is immediately grabbed and I'm over into a quick editing panel that lets me crop it further, add different notes, add different. And one of my favorite things to do is the arrow. So a lot of times if I'm going to point to something in a graphic or uh, I'll be like, hey, let's click on the arrow. I'm going to point there and I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to change that up a little bit. Or I want to change the color. Right, I want to make that a red arrow and then I want to add some text and say, right, stuff like that, change that over. Right, there's all sorts of options. Um, or if I want to crop this a little bit further, I've edited all of this. And I say, you know what, let's crop. I can just grab this little piece. And we're done. We're ready to go. We've, um, yes, Nimbus, all of these that we've talked about today are totally free. Um, some of them have paid versions or paid upgrades or things like that. Um, but all everything we've covered today, you can use and download for free. Um, but yeah, you can click on the pen and draw all over it or say sample, right? Or whatever it is, or draw a box around what you're looking for, or it's just very, very easy to quickly um, highlight. Yes, you can absolutely use a highlighter tool. So you'll notice there highlight instead of that edit. So you can either draw in highlights like that, uh, or if you use the square box item, you can start changing up this and opacity, for example, and create square boxes that do the exact same thing. And start highlighting quick screenshot sections. So it's very, very easy to uh, like I said, this is just a great tool for quickly grabbing a screenshot, adding a quick item to it to tell people something or point something out or highlight something or whatever it is and get it off to the next party. Once you're done here, uh, you just click done. And you notice up at the top here, you can either save the image, you can upload the screenshots right to Nimbus. They'll allow you to save stuff in the background. You can send it right to Google Drive immediately or Dropbox or Slack or print it. There's all sorts of different options. So we'll say Google Drive and that's one of their pro options, right? But the easiest way to do this, you can always save as a PDF or an image, but you just click save image. And boom, you're ready to go. And there it is. You're all set to go. And you save a ton of time. You don't have to bring it into an editing program. You don't have to grab a screenshot here and move it over there and do all these other things. You can just very quickly do this all in one place, um, grab a screenshot, make any edit you want, and send it out without having to go all over the place and use a dozen different things. So that's my second favorite extension. Sweet. Any questions about, uh, and I'll actually give that one more time. Um, First one we talked about is Adblock. Second one we talked about is Nimbus Capture. Uh, both of those are free extensions and definitely something that, uh, that we would suggest. Sweet. All right, so we've gotten our two out, Craig. I've gotten your two out. Yep. Do we have a bonus? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you doing the bonus? You didn't tell me. I mean, I could always pull one out, no problems. Are you, uh, let's, you know what, pull one out, Craig, and then I'll do the last, the last little bonus. How about that? All right. All right. Share me back. <laughs> All right. Am I good? Can, can you do me a favor? Stop sharing in, uh, in Skype and reshare for me. Sure. Your browser is a, a still a just white screen on my side. No problem.
You good? Uh, yeah. Okay. Man, or shoot, 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 maybe shoot. not. Should be seeing a whole bunch of little boxes. No, the Skype screen share crashed. Oh. oh, it has been a week, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, do you mind just swapping screen share and Skype and sharing again? Did you share again in Skype? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, it's not coming over from your side. That's all right. You know what? Um, I'm going to show folks another one that I use consistently. Uh, while we're seeing if we can get Craig's browser uh, working again there. Maybe I tried it again, so let me try moving it to this screen. Maybe it helps. Who knows? Yep. There, that worked. There we go. Interesting. It is. Did it the fit? All right, so you guys are seeing that now? Yes, should be okay. good. So this is another extension called Speed Dial 2, and it's number two. Uh, and what it allows you to do is every time I open up a new tab, I choose which sites I want in each one of these boxes. So I open up another tab, bam, there's all my shortcuts. And let's say I now want to go jump out to Canva. Click on it. I can either make it up in the same or different uh, tab if I want to. But again, every time you open up a new tab, it's all your shortcuts. So from a time saving standpoint, you don't have to sit there and type in the same website addresses again or go up into your favorites menu and find stuff. So again, this one's called Speed Dial 2. I like it. Yep. I like it. That is a, a great one for sure. Yep. Um, the little bonus one that I'm going to use is, and actually I want to make sure I have this uh, again installed in my work browser here. Do a lot of my Facebook stuff for my other. Uh... All right. So the next one here, I'm going to share my screen. Um, uh, sorry, let me pin it so you can all see it. There we go. Cool. So the next one I want to mention is Page Analytics by Google or the Facebook Pixel Helper. These are two really great extensions for understanding some of the traffic and some of the stuff that's going on on your websites um, and with your advertising campaigns. It's something I use pretty consistently uh, and you can see um, you log into your account on the back end here. Like I said, I use this on my personal account. I have a different browser open at the moment, my apologies. Um, but it gives you sort of real-time data uh, about some of the SEO, about some of the information about a website, what's going on behind the scenes. This isn't just great for your own website, um, but it's also great for some of your competitors' websites to start looking at some of the SEO or some of the things behind the scenes that are going on there. So that's another one that, uh, that I really love as well is the uh, page analytics and the pixel helper. Those are two... Uh, Two extras. All right. Well, I think that about does it. Um, we're not going to go too much into depth on some of the bonus ones here. Um, I think that is going to wrap it up unless you have anything else you want to cover today, Craig. Nope. I mean, other than the fact that on the RETI site, we have a whole section on the site dedicated to extensions, uh, what they are, how to install them, and reviews of a lot of these we've, we've gone over today and a lot more. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks so much, Joyce. We greatly appreciate it. Um, before we totally wrap up today, we have some upcoming stuff. Um, so stick around here for a second because I want to let everybody know about some upcoming things that Craig and I have and a masterclass that we have that we are doing a time-saving masterclass. So last week it was apps. This week it's extensions. But we just gave a, a sort of teaser, a little overview of, of a few of the things we do here and there to save time. Um, next week, we are going into a masterclass going through everything that Craig and I consistently do to save time uh, in our businesses. Now, before I get to that, I do want to mention a quick, uh, first of all, thank you to the two organizations putting this on. The first is the Real Estate Technology Institute. Craig just posted the link there uh, in chat. Um, so that's, I know, to specific apps. 
Um, but definitely check out reti.us if you're interested in anything to do with learning technology or marketing in your business. Um, or you can check out uh, Service for Life at serviceforlife.com. That is if you are interested in 100% referral business, getting repeats, referrals, not really having to worry about chasing deals, chasing leads. Uh, so thank you to RETI and Service for Life for helping us and letting us put these on. So that's A number one. But I do want to mention, as I said before, we have a time-saving masterclass that is coming up uh, next week. You still have a little bit of time to save some money. So if you haven't already, uh, that ends today. So if you go over right after this and sign up today, uh, Craig and I are doing a time-saving masterclass next week. We're going over all the details, all the ins and outs of how Craig and I consistently save time. Uh, and I know I get this all the time. I know you do too, Craig, which is people always ask, you know, how do you fit as much as you do? How do you get as much done as you do? How do you, although, how are you involved in so many projects? These right? tricks we share definitely help. These tricks we share help, right? Saving those 10 minutes a day gives me an extra two weeks a year. And maybe I don't take a vacation. Maybe I work on an extra project. Right. There's a lot of little tips, a lot of organizational things, a lot of stuff that we're going to be covering uh, to do that. So if you are interested, I am going to put the link into chat to sign up for next week's masterclass. Uh, if you sign up today, you save 10 bucks. So it's $34.99. If you sign up tomorrow, it is $24.99. If you save up, sign up today. Uh, so you save yourself that 10 bucks if you sign up today. And here's the thing. The amount of time that we're going to save people on this next webinar uh, is like that 35 bucks, a thousand fold, thousands and thousands of fold, really, when you add it up uh, over your career. So definitely hope to see everybody there. Link is in chat for that time saving masterclass as well. Um, and last but not least, thank you to everybody for joining us today. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Craig, is there anything, uh, any notes, anything you want to leave folks on? No, just again, the uh, the masterclass, you know, that discount ends tomorrow. So, or, or is it today or when is it end? Whatever it is. Tonight, so, midnight, midnight yeah, tonight. Midnight. So sign up. If you are interested, sign up because that cost is going up. Uh, and we definitely need more people signed up for that thing to make it a, a good, fun event. Um, but other than that, um, again, nothing Alex and I teach are really geeky. It's not like you got to bring in an IT person. It's just smart little tricks and tools you could use to just improve your life. That's the point. Yep. It's going to be a ton of fun. We, uh, <clears throat> Craig, it's funny. Craig and I share these with each other all the time. I think that's yeah. what people don't get is like, this is years in, of Craig and myself being like, Hey, have you ever tried doing it this way? Or like, Hey, have you seen this cool, uh, you know, tool that helps saving time with X, Y, and Z? I, I know one you shared with me, Craig, is the, uh, Colorzilla, uh, color picker. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, which I we shared recently one. in the Canva ones. Yep, we shared that recently in one of the Canva ones, but that's a tool that I use all the time now. Craig shared it with me and I went, yep. wow, boy, that saves me time. I'm going to start using that. So this is a, a culmination of years of us doing that with each other um, to put this masterclass together. So it's going to be a ton of fun. Yep, absolutely. Sweet. All right. Well, any questions before we close it down? Um, if not, we would really appreciate a like, a share, a comment, any of those sorts of things on the video. Um, if you found this helpful and want to share it out to others, we would really, really love to see that. Uh, or if you want to drop us a like down or a love or a heart or whatever down below, um, it helps us show up to more people as well. So we greatly appreciate everybody that does that. Awesome. Totally. Well, I think that's about it. Um, for me today, Craig, I think that's, uh, I think that does it. Thank you so much as always, uh, for sharing your time. Uh, we got, as we said, the masterclass next week, and then we're going to be back, um, with more webinars after that. And, uh, if anyone has any topics that you're interested in for the month following, um, let us know. We are always looking for, uh, how to be helpful. That's really what we do this for is to help other people with their careers. Uh, help other people see success. So if you have ideas, if you have a challenge that you're facing, if you have things that you need to overcome in your business, let us know um, because that's what we do. Yep. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Pat says great tips installing now. I love it. Thank you so much, Pat. 
Uh, we appreciate, appreciate you and everybody else for joining today. Uh, so thank you to everybody who joined. And uh, until next time, best wishes for your success.